important new inflation data could be making waves on Wall Street this week. Producer prices get released today and then consumer prices tomorrow. Financial experts say that they're crucial numbers because consumers account for 70 percent of the economy. So it's an important benchmark to see where we are. Then on Friday, we can expect data to show both housing starts and permits falling along with a consumer sentiment report. But what's even more important is September, when the Federal Reserve is, is meeting to decide on interest rates. Are we going into a recession, or can the Fed cut interest rates 50 basis points instead of 25? Market Watch says that prices haven't moderated. We're likely to see heightened market volatility. Concerns about the labor market cooling after last Thursday's reading on jobless claims was weaker than expected. But most importantly, a drop in consumer spending could potentially derail the economy. The Biden administration is launching a new effort to crack down on unwanted subscriptions and memberships. The White House accuses companies of using tricks that make it harder to opt out of a service. WFXR's Raquel Martin has the story. The Biden administration wants to make canceling subscriptions as easy as signing up. People are pressing a bunch of different buttons, having to listen to automated recordings. Chad Mazel is an assistant to the president. We think that's wrong and uh, and we think the government should do something about it. Right now, the Federal Trade Commission is finalizing a rule to help you get out of unwanted subscriptions and memberships. The Federal Communications Commission is going a step further to eliminate so-called doom loops, where consumers can't get a hold of human customer service agents. So using technology against us and using time against us. Robert Weissman with consumer advocacy group Public Citizen says over the last decade, there's been a rise in bad faith practices from corporations. A real rip-off economy, making it really hard for us to get refunds or change flights. Or get service. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the nation's largest pro-business group, did not respond to our request for comment. The organization is currently fighting a similar federal effort to eliminate hidden fees. They argue that rule would be impossible to implement. The Biden administration insists its efforts are lawful. If a business's model is dependent on trapping you into that product or service. There's something really problematic about that. And more consumer-first regulations are on the way. In Washington, Raquel Martin.